Hi, I'm Eric Paul, the Chemistry Guru, and you are watching H2 Chem X, making H2 Chemistry simpler, one video at a time. Hi everyone, today we'll go through the electrophilic substitution mechanism for benzene. Now in syllabus, the reaction that we're looking at, in order for us to discuss the mechanism, is the nitration of benzene to form nitrobenzene. So let's take a look at the reaction. Now, uh, we have our benzene uh, to form uh, nitrobenzene basically is to substitute my uh, NO2 group. Uh, the reagents and conditions for this particular conversion is uh, concentrated HNO3, concentrated H2SO4, and uh, at a uh, slightly elevated temperature of 50 to 60 uh, degrees Celsius. So, that is the uh, reagents and conditions uh, for the conversion of uh, benzene to nitrobenzene. Now, before we go into the mechanism uh, proper, Let's take a look at uh, benzene and the structures of benzene to try to explain why benzene undergoes electrophilic substitution reaction. Now we know that species that works with electrophile are uh, electron rich because electrophiles are positively charged or electron diffusion so they're positively charged. So uh, in this case actually it's pretty clear that benzene uh, itself it is electron rich because of the benzene ring. Inside the ring are six electrons. So when benzene is electron rich, it can attract an uh, electrophile. So you see already as your benzene is electron rich, so therefore it attracts a D plus, which is a short form for an electrophile. Now how about substitution? Usually substitution are for species that are saturated. For example, uh, alkanes. Alkanes undergo substitution reaction because it is saturated, so it cannot add on uh, any new groups. Now benzene itself is highly Unsaturated benzene itself, the formula is just C6H6, so it has a high degree of unsaturation. But it prefers substitution instead of addition reaction because it wants to retain the resonance stability. Now, in order for benzene to have resonance stability, each of this carbon must contribute one electron in the pi system, and then these six electrons are delocalized, which contributes to the resonance stability of benzene. Now if benzene undergoes addition reaction, then the pi electrons that is used to be involved in the delocalization will be used for bonding and so benzene will lose this resonance stability which it doesn't, it doesn't want. So benzene prefers substitution reaction so that it can retain the resonance stability. Now the mechanism for electrophilic substitution is pretty straightforward. There are only three steps. The first step involves the generation of my electrophile. So you notice the first reaction, which is to generate my electrophile, is just the reaction between concentrated HNO3, concentrated HNO2 to generate my electrophile, my NO2 plus with HSO4 minus and Water. So therefore, the electrophile is generated and the next step involves the attack of my benzene on the electrophile. Now if you look at the second step, the benzene ring is electron rich, my NO2 plus is electron poor, so I can draw an arrow from my benzene ring to nitrogen. Now remember, when I look at NO2 plus, it is a nitrogen that's positively charged. So when I draw the arrow, I'm destroyed from the ring to nitrogen, not to oxygen. Now this particular step is the slow step, so I put slow on the arrow. Now what we notice is this particular carbon now is attached to four groups. The nitro group is now attached to this particular carbon. So the ring about this carbon will be broken. So what we'll do is we'll draw an open ring. So this portion where the carbon is attached to my nitro group, I have to break the ring. And inside this ring, I have to draw a positive charge. Now, of course, this particular configuration for benzene is highly unstable because now the benzene is positively charged and the ring is open, so therefore, it's losing its resonance stability, which it doesn't want. So, what it will do is it will kick up the H plus and both electrons. Uh, from this CH bond will be given back to my benzene to restore the ring, which will show this in the third step. Now 
as mentioned previously, benzene doesn't like this configuration, so what you do is you break the CH bond and both electrons will be given back to the ring. So as a consequence, H plus will be kicked out and this H plus will combine with HSO4 minus to regenerate my catalyst. So again, once you notice, once the benzene breaks this CH bond, both electrons will go back to benzene, so the ring is restored. And then my nitro group is the group is that is now attached to my benzene. So you get a product, nitro benzene. And then your H plus release to combine with your HSO4 minus, you give me my H2SO4. My H2SO4 is a catalyst, so at the end of the mechanism, it must be regenerated. So after this particular discussion, I hope that you have a better understanding of electrophilic substitution of benzene. If you have enjoyed this video, please share this with your friends. To learn more about H2 chemistry, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. If you want to know more about my H2 chemistry classes at Nishan, please visit my website. Thank you for watching H2 Chem Hacks. I hope I've made H2 chemistry simple for you. I'll see you next time.